the Storm Team Weather Lab. KMAC meteorologist Kellyanne Class. We had a pretty active day yesterday. We had some showers yesterday morning, and then last night we did have a few rumbles of thunder and some strong winds associated with a line of rainfall. Now, most of that has moved out of the area, and we are left with drying conditions and just a few sprinkles now to the south. East of JM. Behind this line, we are noticing a few clouds across the area, but as this system races off to the east, we're starting to get some clearing conditions for areas to our north and to our west, and it really not dealing with any rainfall this morning. So that's the good news. At least you don't have to deal with any of those uh, severe winds or anything like that. But we are tracking some more rain in the forecast, which is going to give us still a surplus of rainfall. Now, looking at rainfall totals over the past 24 hours, this is the system from yesterday morning and last night. Neil Shuk came in just under an inch of rainfall. Lubbock Inter International Airport, which is our official reporting site for here in Lubbock County, also just under about a half inch of rainfall. And we are still noticing some more on the way. And already for the month of March, about eight days in, we are at a surplus of almost three quarters of an inch of rainfall. So that's the good news. We are in a surplus and we are still going to be expecting more rain on the way. For now, though, dry conditions, a few clouds across the area from our Overton Live Sky View. The moon is slowly beginning to set. We will be under a mix of sun and clouds by later on today and over tomorrow as well. We'll remain dry. Can't rule out a few isolated showers by about Wednesday. Most of us on Wednesday will remain dry with a mix of sun and clouds. Our better chance for rain though will come on Thursday night and early Friday morning. Starts from the southwest, slowly moves up to the north, and then we'll be dealing with a little bit more rainfall by about Friday afternoon. A few scattered showers, but then by Friday evening it becomes a little bit more widespread. Now don't be surprised if you do hear a few rumbles of thunder or even see some lightning. We are going to be watching the potential for a few thunderstorms on Friday, but thankfully we're not watching any severe weather. So that is the good news, but we are heading into severe weather season, which means you need to start staying weather aware. We dry out by Saturday and then we'll be left with dry conditions for the weekend. Temperatures right now are feeling like the uh, 50s, even a few 40s outside. We also are dealing with a southwesterly wind sustained at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. This wind will eventually turn to the northwest by this afternoon, still sustained at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Temperature Temperatures will eventually rise up into the mid 70s. This is about 10 degrees above our average with a mix of sun and clouds, and we'll continue these warmer conditions over the next few days. Tomorrow, another above average day. Temperatures into the mid 70s. We get up into the 80s by Wednesday. Can't rule out a few isolated showers on Wednesday afternoon, but that better chance for rain rainfall comes Thursday, but more so Friday at about 30%. Also can't rule out a few isolated storms possible. 74 by Thursday, dropping into the mid 50s by Friday, back up into the mid 60s by Saturday with a few lingering showers by the morning. Definitely still feeling a little bit cold out there, especially with the wind. And whenever it picks up, I'm like, okay, I need at least two jackets on. Oh, you are <laughs> not, I don't even know, you're not from this no, area. No, I'm ready to just go short not. sleeves outside right now. Really? But, I, but I brought a jacket, you know, I mean, I don't know. Maybe later on in the day, I don't know. I think I'm just so used to the 30s. I'm like, oh man, this 50s, it's great. No, it is, it is way better, yeah. I have to agree. <laughs>